I'm Colin Fitzgerald here with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. And we're gonna take a look at a 2020 38 RDP Sabre Cobalt fifth wheel by Four Server. It's a five slide model. Uh, it is a rear den as the model kind of implies there uh, by Sabre. One of their newer floor plans, if you've researched this product before, um, this is more of a, a recent addition to their, their model line. And so I'll put the camera here, you can see 38 RDP, that is the model. And again, Arrowhead Camper Sales. So we're gonna go inside and I'm gonna go to the front first, the front uh, master bedroom and the bathroom as well. And then we'll work our way back. So when you come in, a uh, pretty typical steps to our right here. Going up the landing, we'll look at that in a second. You can see your switches to the left as well as the bathroom door. And then here is the bedroom. So we have to the right here, uh, a little dresser, set of drawers there. TV mount in the wall, a TV hookup as well. Of course, at the front, um, a huge closet. Sabre using the barn door style closet doors. Great storage in this closet with a shelf uh, built into the front cap area and then a shelf above as well. And then one thing we like they're doing, uh, splitting the dryer and washer up. So instead of having to have a combo, you know, like many competing products are still doing, uh, you can actually have a split set up here where you can have your washer and dryer, two separate units, much, much preferred to having a combo unit. We do not really care to have combo units if we can avoid it. So great closet setup. And then we'll back up. You can see our first slide here is our bed slide. A king bed in this unit, that is an option that we get typically. Headboard. You can see on both sides of the bed, we do have kind of a, a nightstand uh, type area with shelving built into it. Just nice for phones, uh, things of that nature. And two ACs, there's an AC control up here for our, our bedroom unit and then in the living room uh, and a unit as well. So two ACs on this unit with 50 amp prep. Fairly good space on the sides of the bed. Great space, of course, at the foot of the bed. The bed does lift up. There is some shallow storage below it as well. So I'm gonna kind of get to the front and step back and give you one more look of our bedroom here. So that is the bedroom. The landing, you'll see to the left, um, a window. One of the things about this floor plan, really Saber in general, but specifically this floor plan, people like is the natural lighting. Very, very open. It feels very, um, just not enclosed, the opposite of that. It feels open throughout the unit. So here's our actual, our bathroom. Uh, to the left is our toilet, foot flush toilet down below. Great storage in this bathroom. So I've got many, many storage compartments. There's a cabinet there. Uh, more standard linen closet over here to the right. But great storage for extra clothes, linens, bathroom supplies, whatever you want. Great storage in this bathroom. Triple uh, glass door, sliding shower doors here. Great shower. Got a seat in it, shelving built into it, plastic tub surround the whole way around. A huge skylight. Again, a ton of natural light in here. I really could have the overhead lights off, wouldn't make a difference. Um, great natural light in here. It feels very open. Really great looking sink, medicine cabinet here. A subway tile behind it, good countertop, storage below, space for a small trash can if you have one, but just a, a really nice, well-equipped open bathroom. Back to the hallway, like I said, here at the steps, I'm gonna lift this up and you can see, I'm gonna go down to the bottom. You can see here, kind of the command center. Um, we've got most of our switches, controls, uh, light switches, different things here. We've got our monitor panel up top, our control for our rear AC, uh, slide room controls, lots of light switches there. Uh, again, more slide room controls, awning control. Uh, part of our jack pad system here to the left and then to the right there is our inverter control. So really neat and organized here to have it all in one area, the majority of it, excuse me, in, in one area. But a great job there by Sabre doing that. And then when you come in, so I'm standing at the entry door and I look into my left here is our kitchen area. Remember, there's five slides. We've seen the one bedroom. I'm going to go right down here and look back toward the kitchen. Uh, a slide here to the left in the kitchen, and then across from that is the slide for the table and chairs. Okay, so just focusing on the kitchen area first. Countertop space everywhere. So there's a kind of a divider here to make that, that rear den area be separate from the kitchen, but a great line of countertop space here. There's outlets, a good space for prepping food, serving food, crock pots, coffee makers, whatever you want to do. And then again, more, just, just tons of cabinetry everywhere you look, storage throughout this thing. Uh, more storage above that. But then the nice thing about it is there's actually two pantries. So one pantry here, huge pantry right there. And then a second pantry actually over to the right, which I'll open up in a second, 
Um, it's got removable um, shelving in it. If you wanted to make it a closet, you could do that as well. We'll look at that in just a second. But again, notice tons of countertop space, tons of storage, tons of tons of drawers, pantries, cabinets, uh, just a, an awesome, very well equipped uh, kitchen here. So a flush mount sink cover, big farmhouse style sink. If I can do this with one hand, you can see a big, big sink there, a residential style uh, pull down faucet there as well. Again, lots of storage built into the kitchen island. Our appliances over here, we have a stove and oven, glass top stove cover, accent lighting, subway tile behind it, microwave above. And then our refrigerator, we do have a larger residential style refrigerator, uh, four doors. So two doors up top for the refrigerator area, two doors below for the freezer. Again, another little nook here, just trying to use all available space, countertop space for pressure cooker, or like we mentioned earlier, an appliance, prepping food, whatever you want to do, but just an absolutely awesome amount of storage. Just, that's really what we get the most feedback on this floor plan about is uh, the great amount of storage in the kitchen. Here's the other pantry I was talking about. These shelves, if you want, you could you could fix them to not move or they, they make them where you can remove them. We've had people use this as a closet for uh, brooms, for, I've seen a table secured in there, um, vacuums, different things like that, but kind of whatever you want to do. You could hang clothing, maybe a coat coat area if you wanted but many different options but Sabre gives you uh, flexibility to do that the third slide again our slide for our table and chairs here's where you start to see those windows lots and lots of windows if you had a great view maybe at a lake or some other area uh, this is a great floor plan for that or if you just just like natural light in general if you don't like light or you're concerned about people seeing in or keeping it cooler they have very thick uh, nightshades that are for all the windows here on all the windows uh, throughout the unit except for I think the ones in the bedroom do have the, the fabric style I, I'm gonna correct myself there but generally throughout it you find these roller shades uh, throughout so we've seen our bed slide our two slides here in the kitchen area now we're going back to our rear den area so again windows windows awesome open open feel to this three seating areas back here so I've got my theater seats facing my TV which I'll show you that in a second two trifold sofas Opposing slides, tons of floor space, a wall of cabinetry, a fireplace, huge countertop, big windows, and then our TV. So our TV, a huge TV is built into the countertop. Bear with me, I gotta hold the button down to raise it up. But you got a TV built into our countertop. I'm gonna raise it all the way up, you can see it in the up position. Notice it is right across from my theater seats. We do like that. Um, so you can recline back, watch a movie, watch TV not have to turn your head a weird angle or anything like that the TV's all the way up I'm gonna step back you can see that again nice big TV there there's a shade behind that if you wanted to close that shade to make it easier to view but just an awesome living room as well lots of space lots of seating space lots of floor space just open notice throughout high ceilings crown molding with accent lighting tons of LED ceiling lighting accent lighting above the island ceiling fan beautiful interior so that is the interior of this unit we're gonna go back outside I'm gonna show you some more things there so on the outside you probably saw walking up to it uh, the quad steps my more ride step above steps there huge awning uh, starts really as far up as it could possibly go starts there LED light strip in it all the way down past that slide so a nice big awning on this on our compartment doors, I'll show you that storage compartment from the other side. Uh, magnetic latches there on the on the actual door itself. And we'll kind of walk around. You can just see the outside of it. Four-point electric auto level on this. We love that system. Outside grill can be hooked up right here. On the back, got a storage rack, bike rack, whatever you want to call it on the back of this, and a ladder as well. It is prepped for a backup camera. If you choose to have one of those, you can. It's already set up. 50 amp service, of course, with two areas. We talked about that. And on this side, you'll see uh, furnace output. We've got our 10 gallon gas electric water heater. And this is that pass through compartment. So, a great job here by Sabre. A couple of things I want to point out. In our docking center, we have a nice little inlet for our cords and outlets excuse me our cords and uh, cables to come through outside shower 
very easy to winterize. So we got a water heater bypass out here and a winterized valve. You don't have to crawl, crawl in there and get to the back of the water heater or the back of the water pump. You can do it all from right here. Black tank flush, all these different hookups, TV hookups, water hookups, all nice and neat organized in our docking center. And then our pass-through compartment, uh, great size here. There's the outside grill I was talking about. You can see over there, there's an outside refrigerator already built into this unit in the compartment. No carpet in here. We want, want that vinyl floor easier to keep clean. So a great pass-through compartment up front. Underneath the front, there's actually more storage there. And the front cap, really cool look with LED accent lighting in it as well. So 2020 38 RDP Saber Cobalt Fifth Wheel by Forest River. It's a five slide model, reared in, tons of windows, but the best part, that kitchen. Uh, we have a lot of actually dual pantries, tons of, of storage, countertop space, two airs, auto level, king bed, many, many features. And that's here at Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky.